Kalispera everyone! I hope you all had a fabulous weekend with all the hospitality sector reopen on Saturday. It was such a great feeling to reopen our doors once more for you. And who missed us over the last weekend? I want to let you know that we are open every day lunch and dinner. So if you can't travel to Greece, we are bringing Greece to you with all our amazing Greek dishes, Greek wine and cocktails inspired from the Greek mythology. All right, today we having as guest um, Angelos Yatridis from Alpha Estate. And as usual, I will uh, share the map of Greece with you. Credit to New Wines of Greece for the map. Okay, so uh, that was the whole map. And as you can see, we are in northern part of Greece, in Amindeon region. This region is famous for viticulture, but I will let uh, Angelos tell you all about it. Okay, let's um, let's add Angelos. And as usual, please drop your questions um, in the comments below, and we will try to answer them. Okay, we waiting to connect with Angelos. Oh, Kalispera! Uh, Kalispera, hello, hello. How everyone. are you, Angelos? Hey, hello, hello, Alexandra. How are you? Good. Last year, actually, around this time, we are having a massive uh, wine dinner party here at Meraki with you. I remember that one of the, one of the biggest ever made uh, winemaker dinner party ever. Yeah, it was life. like we had like sixty guests. It was massive. We half of yeah. the restaurant was uh, they came for for this event. Lovely times. <laughs> I Thank hope you for that. Do again another one soon. <laughs> Thank you for that, Alexandra. It was a great night, great evening. Yes. Um, okay, so I was uh, showing to our um, audience the map of Greece and that we are located in Amindeon this evening, and uh, maybe you can tell us about the um, the terroir and uh, what are the grape varieties grown there and climate soils, just uh, for everyone uh, to have an idea. So Amindon is the northern appellation in Greece. It's a very old uh, appellation uh, area. Uh, 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 Amindon took his name for, from Alexander, for Amindas uh, III, uh, grandfather of Alexander the Great. He uh, have a huge history and the tradition of the uh, vine growing in the area is huge. Uh, the major variety is Xinomavro. Xinoma, bro. It's a, a local variety. This is what we actually, what we're gonna be been tasting uh, together, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lovely. Virtually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward for that. Yeah, and uh, Xinoma, bro, is a great variety. Uh, it's a very old one. It's a, a not so intense color uh, uh, variety. It's uh, styli stylistically is between Pinot Noir and Viola and uh, have a high a phenolic potential uh, and uh, a very well structured. Uh, Xinomavro is a late season variety, ripening in the beginning of October. Uh, that means they have an extended uh, ripening season, who gives a, a lot of uh, complexity and, uh, and a very nice bouquet during aging. It, it's a very aging worthy variety. Uh, so, about Amindon Appellation, it's the coolest appellation in Greece, uh, located uh, in the northwestern Greece, the, uh, like we say, the western Macedonia, uh, surrounding by three mountains. Uh, from the north is the mountain Voras, from the west, the mountain uh, 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 Vici, and from the north, uh, from the south uh, east, is the mountain Vermion. From the other side of Ma uh, Mount Vermion is the, the other appellation called Nau Nausa, with a Xenomavro variety as well. Yes. Uh, so uh, 700 to 800 meters above sea level, the altitude is a high, is a, a high altitude uh, appellation. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, an appellation that is, uh, the soil is mainly sandy soil over limestone. And this is kind of secret of what is Amindion, because the whole, uh, it's, a, it's a high plateau. Uh, the whole operation used to be covered by giant lake thousand years before, 
and now all the deposit of the lake uh, when the micro, the micro elements uh, went underneath in the uh, limestone uh, layer of the of the of the soil. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a cool climate. Uh, surround, uh, as well, the, the appellation surrounding by, by two lakes, the lake of uh, Petres and the lake of Vegoritis, which is, uh, 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 moderate the microclimate in the area. Yeah, so it's cooling down all the area and uh, gives you that uh, difference of temperature during the day and night. Exactly. And, uh, uh, and what is very important in Amindon, uh, it's... Uh, uh, the uh, let's say the ideal difference of temperature between night and day uh, 15 degrees of celsius who gives a, a nice ripening phenolic aromatic and te technologically uh, uh, of uh, the grapes of cinoma and um, tell us about your philosophy in the winery how um, what's your vision with how you doing all the you know, uh, our vision is uh, that every uh, now uh, Alpha Estate owns uh, 200 hectares of vines. Uh, it's 110 different blocks. So our ideal project will be every single block when I give a separate wines, mm -hmm. like the wines you are going to taste virtually today, uh, coming from uh, a, a specific block. Uh, a single block called Barbayanis. Yes, Barbayanis. Uh, uh, I was about to say yes. Uh, honored the uh, uh, proprietor, the acid proprietor of uh, of this uh, of this uh, old vines block. Mm -hmm. So this is the goal of, for for us, and of course it's a it's a project that gonna uh, endure during uh, the coming years and uh, finish uh, with our children, I think. <laughs> So, what other grape varieties you have? Uh, other than Xinomavro, we have a Malaguzia, a, a white grape variety. Uh, Malaguzia, if I like to describe this variety, is uh, 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 flowery and uh, uh, blossom kind of uh, aromas variety uh, with a lot of uh, citrus uh, notes. Uh, there is as well uh, 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 Asirtico, another Greek uh, grape variety, but we're growing as well uh, Sauvignon Blanc and Syrah for the international uh, grape variety yeah. as well. One of my favorites from your range is uh, the Tanat. Uh, the Tanat, yes, it's a uh, uh, take part of this uh, ecosystem line we produce in our uh, uh, state, so a specific block with uh, uh, indigenous uh, selected wild yeast from the block of uh, Tanat, for example, here. Mm -hmm. uh, so Tanat, I like this variety. I, uh, as a winemaker, as a knowledgeist, I work in uh, uh, appellation uh, in uh, Madiran for practice. So I have a certain expertise ah. about this variety. So that's why you, you brought it back home with you. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, uh, exactly. And we okay. have a, an, excel, an excellent adaptation of this variety in, uh, in a Mindon ecosystem. Let's give it a try to your Sinomavro, Old Vines. Yes. So, Old Vines, because what's the age? Uh, uh, the Old Vines planted in 1919, so it's 101 years old. Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been lucky enough that uh, last year when I was visiting you, you were celebrating the 100 years. Centennial, yes, of course. Yes. Uh, of uh, these old vines of Sinoma, bro. And this is, the, the, you know, uh, 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 maybe you heard uh, lately saying that for us, this wine is a, a state of mind. You know, it's a, a very unique. It's, uh, it's uh, the culture of our, of our appellation. It's a, a very unique vine who make us proud of what we have in our hands and uh, every year. Did I lost? Oh. I lost Alpha, Angelos. I think we've been left. Okay, let's try again. I, I was enjoying the wine. <laughs> okay, it's connecting again. I think. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we are back. <laughs> We're back. I don't know what happens. Uh, so, uh, 
uh, for us it's a, a very we are very on, honored in uh, having this uh, old vines uh, and imagine it's uh, pre phylloxera vines so the yes. these are ungrafted vines because they send the soil it's uh, 85% sandy sandy soil so there is no risk of phylloxera it's phylloxera tolerant uh, this uh, specific block. But is it because as well of the soils? Yes, exactly. So uh, this is a typical expression of what is the, the purity of Xenoma bro, of Amindion. So we have, uh, let's say, uh, this uh, uh, prunes, uh, dry fruits character, which is very typical for this variety. And when you're steering the glass, you, you have a touch, a hint of uh, dry tomatoes. This is this is very typical for this variety. Uh, a of bit of black olives, maybe. B black olives as well. You, you know, the olive pate, uh, the olive uh, uh, spread, for example. It's, it, more you more you stirring the glass, more yes. complexity you reach in, 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 your, in, in your nose. Do you use uh, new oak for this? Um... We're using uh, new oak. But it's white toasted, meaning it's not toasted at all. It's it's steamed. It's steamed with a high temperature, um, uh, uh, high temperature of uh, steam. Yeah. So it's a very delicate the the expression of the wood. So it's just a, a smooth support in uh, the whole structure of uh, this plethoric uh, xenoma bro. How long? Uh, how long does it spend in uh, in the barrel before you? In the, in the barrel, eighteen uh, two, two years and one year in the bottle before release in the market. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you have in, in front of you, but uh, uh, the, the current release is two thousand sixteen. Yes, sixteen I have, uh, okay. and as well I can see you uh, you bottle unfiltered. Yes. So you want to preserve the. You, you know, it's the pure character of uh, the. This is our philosophy. You know, it's let's say we are we, we are uh, uh, our philosophy. It's the minimal intervention in our vineyards, in our wines, in order to respect the nature ourselves and our consumers from what is uh, the clear expression of Amindon. This is very important for us, and uh, uh, in order to. Uh, uh, of course, to show the potential of of the region and the uh, the, the lab we have, we try to um, uh, apply you know all all of our knowledge in our in our in our wine making procedure. I must say that I have a couple of guests which they come in here and they don't need to see the wine list. They straight away they were ordering this wine. So some of them like. Um, it happened actually once. I think I finished it or something, and they were devastated. And I'm like, "Oh, it's coming tomorrow." <laughs> but it's like um, very well known and um, very respected, to, respected wine with, between the the Greek uh, customers. Uh, you know, this is very important for us. You know, uh, Greece I mean, is a I think they market. want to feel like home. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I can understand this. Uh, but I also, also believe there are uh, also the, the other clients in the national clients that if they met Xenoma, bro, they love it immediately. This is the, yes. the Xenoma, bro, spirit, you know. Indeed. Uh, do you, is this your flagship? Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, this is the most important wine uh, concerning the exports. But our flagship is our SMX. Uh, SMX is a blend of Syrah, Merlot, and Xenoma Broad vines. It's the first wine ever produced in Alpha Estate, uh, uh, coming from uh, 2000, 2000 vintage. The, this was, that was the, our first vintage. Uh, but, and because I believe, you know, uh, in these uh, three varietal blends, you have in the same times the expression of the, of the ecosystem of the region, but you have also uh, uh, the one maker art way of wine making. You know, you have yes. three varietals and you create a new entity. I know in terms of commercial, it's a bit more difficult to, to sell a three varietal wine, but you know, this is the art. You yes. have to understand, you know, you have the structure of Xenoma, bro, the softness of Syrah and the, uh, 
let's say, the, the aromatic complexity of Xenomavro in the back palate. You have yes. a very unique uh, completion. Somebody was saying uh, here now, simply the best. <laughs> but even your SMX is very well recognized as well. And somebody else says, oh, if you help me here, because it says in Greek, I'm not sure if you can see the comments. Somebody yeah. says it's one of her favorites. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see the comments, uh, Dancer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but I can see you have a bit of choice as well. Um, you went into international grape varieties, like you have the Sauvignon Blanc and you have the, then you have the version of the Sauvignon Fumé. Yes. So why the choice of the international uh, grape varieties? You, you know, I believe that uh, uh, grape varieties believe it's like humans. They can, uh, uh, you know, uh, how uh, 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 Greek guy can, uh, uh, let's say, may, make big things in London or uh, Moldavian or the Russian guy make great things in uh, London. Uh, it's the same time with the varietal. We have a great ecosystem. That's yeah. why, you know, uh, describe if you, if you can... can uh, visit uh, the, the region of Amindon, the, the region of Alpha State, you realize how, how beautiful is uh, the region and uh, yes. you, you, can, you, can, you can find this magic into the wines. So this is, this is why uh, Sauvignon Blanc, you say, the national variety. And there is another fact, the fact that uh, my, uh, uh, my thesis in the, the University of, of Bordeaux when I study winemaking, based on the aroma, on the criteria of uh, vine growing criteria and wine making criteria, how you make a Sauvignon uh, Blanc uh, 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 typical. So for me, it's, uh, uh, you know, kind of a very important approach. What, uh, what vintage was uh, the hardest for you so far? You know, I have, <laughs> I, I have a motto for this. Our hardest vintage is our next. Oh, very good one! Very good one. I, like I that. believe that you know uh, <laughs> all the all the knowledge, all the experience you get from the previous vintages, you put yes. it in the next. So for for me, uh, for for me, every every next harvest is the most difficult harvest. Absolutely, yes. Uh, and I feel happy when the harvest is uh, complete. So uh, <laughs> the, uh, I feel so so responsible. For what I, we are doing, so for, for me, it's how I feel. So yes. for us, the, the most the most difficult Relief, harvest yes. are, are next. But um, how is the global warming affecting uh, that part of uh, Greece? That, because, that, for example, when I came and I visit you, it was October, late October or middle of October, and we had such a lovely weather, and I was expecting to be colder. Uh, 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 last year, last year, of course, we had a very uh, uh, smooth weather all over Europe. You know, yes. you, you remember that. Yes. But you know, it, 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 it's the reason why you cli climb up the mountains. That's why you are very well protected in uh, the extremes of climatic condition. You know, we don't have extremes in uh, high temperature or uh, very low temperature uh, uh, during the winter time. Uh, imagine that. Uh, uh, this year, this uh, winter time, we have uh, 60 days of uh, snowfalls, which is, you know, uh, who, who can imagine that in Greece, uh, we have three uh, ski resorts in the surrounding area of, of uh, Mindon. Uh, you yes. have to visit, you know, it's uh, simple as that. But, you know, this is the reason why uh, it's uh, mainly Mindon, it's like this is located in a high altitude, it's not, it's not affected at all. Uh, from these uh, climatic uh, changes. And, um, but you, you said that you have like three ski resorts. So that means you're getting really busy during the winter. You're still doing some uh, tastings. For, for us, the busiest time is during winter. Really? You know, <laughs> uh, it means that uh, uh, last year, uh, 2019, we had uh, 19 thousand people 19,000 wow. visitors uh, and the half of them uh, were between October and December wow that's impressive yeah to give you an idea how uh, how is the uh, uh, let's say the visibility of our state during uh, this uh, time of uh, uh, time 
yes. the time of uh, year. What um, inno innovative ideas you you brought to Greece, or uh, would you put in practice, or you would like to put in practice? You know, uh, uh, the innovation is doing uh, things that uh, you uh, discuss with uh, our uh, uh, partners in uh, uh, in uh, institutions like uh, University of Athens, University of Thessaloniki. Uh, so. Uh, a, a lot of new implementation, uh, like uh, uh, we uh, implemented uh, uh, 20 years back, an underground irrigation system, for example. Mm -hmm. I believe a irrigation strategy and uh, the management of water status in the vinegar is the most important thing. Um, uh, it's impossible to, if you do not control the, the water status of, of your, of your of vine, of vine, uh, vineyard, it's impossible to make great wines. And this is what the winemakers do, you know, I believe. Uh, it's, you have, the, anyway, the, the wine does need a high quantities of water. But in specific time, if, if you like to get the maximum quality level of grapes, you have to have the knowledge when, how, and, and uh, yeah, how much do it, to do it, yes. To do it. Okay, uh, I know that, uh, this has been, um, I, I just want to ask you how, how this uh, pandemic affected you and because you are one of the most important uh, and biggest wineries in Greece. You know, uh, as, you, as you can uh, imagine that oh, uh, like the whole restoration was locked down uh, during uh, uh, April and May, we, we were in zero, zero sales, almost zero, you know, it's... Uh, yes. uh, Minus 95% uh, yeah. uh, versus last year. So, I was one of the 5%. I was still buying uh, Greek wine in lockdown. My most dear Greek friends, yeah, they were delivering to me. <laughs> that's, that's very good. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I, I believe that this is a uh, uh, crisis of COVID-19 COVID help us a lot to realize new things, to uh, introduce a, a little more, uh, let's say, uh, digital approach to our connections, to our uh, agents all over the world, and help us to, cre to create a new infrastructure inside the winery. A lot of work uh, must do and never do, we did it during that time. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> So you understand, so that, that helps me, but I, I want to believe the, the, that's all, that there's going so to be you, another you time. Try to, you try to maximize... Uh, Cross the... our fingers and, uh, you know, uh, we try to believe that never going to see the same uh, problem again. Yes, hopefully. In your opinion, what Greek wine can do better? What would be the strength so that it should pull to, to evolve and to... Is, is, the, the answer is very easy, you know, Xenomavro. Xenomavro, <laughs> of course, you know, it's, there's no doubt about that. Xenomavro is a, you know, a, it's a very serious grape variety because of the acidity. Uh, you know, if you, but uh, working uh, in, uh, with Xenomavro in the field, in the vineyard, it's very, it's very hard to, uh, uh, to, to follow because uh, Xenomavro needs a lot of attention. A lot of work, and work is the most important thing about Xenomapro. Actually, I, uh, oh no, I, I didn't, uh, it doesn't show me the pictures. I thought I saved them because I had some uh, pictures from the Xenomapro vines. Uh. Uh, but anyway, when I've been last, uh, last year and I visit you, um, Costas was showing me around the vineyards, and um, yes, I've seen the all the soils like you have that uh, that big hole which looks like a grave <laughs> yes this is to show you to everyone the soil yes. profile and you see this limestone underneath yes this like is the, the secret layers. This, you can see. the layer you can see the layers yes. this is very important to to, to understand some uh, someone that uh, that happens something very serious and uh, this is why alpha state wines can go uh, in the future very easily because this limestone uh, routine, routinary system 
can uh, give a lot of acidity to uh, our wines and uh, giving them high, uh, high, poten high aging potential. Yes, absolutely. It can, as you can said, um, I think in a blind tasting, you can uh, easily, uh, I don't know, maybe think about a, a Nebbiolo. Exactly, yes, yes. Uh, stylistically, it's very close to Nebbiolo, uh, Xenomo yes. Profamindio. Okay, Angelos, uh, thank you very much for uh, the lovely chat. Thank uh, you, Alexandra. I hope to see you from closer, you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I think uh, next November, if everything is go, uh, going uh, going good, uh, I'm going to visit London. And Very Meraki good. as well, of course. Absolutely. You always uh, have to stop by <laughs> when you yes, are in London. Okay, okay Alexander. Thank you very much. Looking forward to see you. And I'm wishing you a easy or, I don't know, a great vintage <laughs> to make beautiful wines once again. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you. Yes. Yamas. Thank Yamas. you. Yamas. Yamas. Okay. As for you, Meraki's friends, I would love to talk to you longer and finish this uh, lovely glass of wine, but I need to go to dinner service now. I'm going to open amazing uh, wines for our lovely guests. And next week we are having uh, Burbukeli's estate with us. So until next Monday, I want to see you all here at Meraki, but it's better to book before. Our lines are open. And uh, other than that, if you cannot be here with us, stay safe and see you next Monday. Thank you. Bye.